Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about writing. Um, for all of my aspiring authors out there, you're going to know my problem. For everyone who's read books, here's a problem you got to appreciate. Um, the first um, thing people do and... when they open a book to read it is look for that first line. And if it's not an epic first line, book shut down immediately. The second thing, however, is they need to see a powerful character. They got to find someone worth reading about. Doesn't have, matter much what happens to them, that's flexible, but if it's a boring person, it doesn't matter what happens to them. And you can find all these great resources online. My favorite I'll link at the bottom of the video. But usually it just comes down to hundreds of questions, down to nitty gritty details about who your character's going to be. And some people just say, well, there's a lot of characters already in existence. Why don't I just use one of them? So they do. So here, here's my argument. I'm going to present half of each side and we'll see which one we end up liking best. William Goldman admits that as he was writing The Princess Bride, Andre the Giant, the professional wrestler, was always in his mind to be Fezzik. And no one's going to argue that that was a bad choice. I mean, he's easily the most memorable character when they made the movie. So that works out. He was a well-made character. And there was an actor or a fi figure that played that character well. At the same time, though, the other side of that coin is from first draft all the way to the silver screen, Cornelia Funke admits that for Inkheart, Mo was always Brendan Fraser. Right from the get-go, Brendan Fraser. And, you know, um, I found her books a little hard to get through. And if you find the audiobook, which, since everyone knew it was Brendan Fraser to begin with, they got Brendan Fraser to read the audiobook, and right from the first paragraph, it looked like he... It sounded like he couldn't do it. The most boring audiobook I've ever listened to. So, is this a good idea? Is this not a good idea? Do you want to do the endless lists to try and create someone original? Or... Do you want to check out imdb.com and find someone? Um, if you go and find someone online, it's just as easy for your readers to go and find someone online. Then they have a preconceived notion. I think the first time they spot, oh, this sounds a lot like my favorite actor, actress. Then as soon as you deviate from that personality, from that information, then you're hitting different terrain. It's a hard thing. You know, we're, we're trying to write these stories and they're epic. Um, me personally, I will do the 500 questions to try and make a unique character. Um, I personally haven't tried to make someone from an existing character. Usually it's at least a conglomerate of three others, and even then it's just personality traits. So, let's find out. What do you think? You know, how many of you literary folks can say, aha, this is my favorite actor, actress, and it works. This is a good thing for authors to do. On the other hand, how many of you are saying we don't like that? Come up with someone new, because that's going to surprise me. It's going to make it worth reading. Let me know in your comments below or on my website or find me on Facebook. I am happy to chat this one up, um, because as an author, I'm always trying to prove my craft, and every other author should be doing the same thing. So let's meet, let's greet. Let's high-five each other. Let's talk about this one. 